I had a group of people, of parents, in uh, Oregon. I was in um, uh, close to Portland, Oregon. It was a community where parents worked in the nurseries. Called, they're called uh, Las Nurserias. They worked in Las Nurserias. And I was teaching this very same book, uh, Calling the Doves. And they were in a circle in front of me, uh, around, four, around six of them. Not that many, not that many. And again, I didn't want to come in and talk as a professor or as an author. That's not going to work. I'm going to come in and talk as a, uh, as a family member as close as I can, as a friend, and uh, give them a book and then do that quickly. And what I said was, you know, this is what I did, but I'm more interested in what you do. Uh, so uh, if you want to recite, uh, sing a song, let's do that, okay? And if you want to just say a dicho, let's do that. And I said all this in Spanish. Because I know, I know that dichos and riddles, like I grew up, and songs are still very important. And they know many, many. So that we went along. And until we got to one man who had been really out in the sun, very dark brown. He was dark brown. And I know he was a hard, hard, hard campesino worker, like all of them were. And their children were in the school. And I was a visiting author. OK. So when it got to him, um, he shared a song. And it was a real song. And they all heard him. And it was very meaningful. It was very meaningful. It was a song. It was a song they knew. It was a, it was a cultural thing, for sure. <laughs> for sure. But it was like a lightning bolt. Because he sang it with every part of his heart. And they felt it. They felt it. It was a song. From, from, from where they were from. And it was never sung. And he sang it. So it was beautiful. It was beautiful. So, so when we uh, do this with our community, they become the teachers. And we had the teacher, you know, the teacher in the classroom, you know, you, you can pick, you can choose and use those materials after they leave class. You know, you can talk about corridos. You can continue it. But for the parents to be in the classroom, is great for the students. They're, they're going to bring something real, something new. It's great for the students, great for the teachers. It's going to add to the teachers' materials. Um, and you're going to let the students know that your culture is valuable because it, this came from you, from your parents, uh, by the way. Could you, did you ever think your parents would be teachers? No, but they are. So it helps us in many ways. Um, and I like to do that. I would bring parents as speakers. I would have the parents create a workshop. I would have them, whatever workshop they want to create. Cre uh, you know, and invite your community, invite the parents. And I know that not all parents are available. They're working hard around the clock. And uh, they invite them to school, one way or another. Slowly but surely bring them to your classroom, 